Hi, my name is Joe and I'm going to walk you through a quick tutorial on how to make the black hole effect from my current project Spacetime using Unity's Shuriken Particle System. I'm using Unity version 2021.3.6 for this tutorial. Step 1 is to make a new project in Unity using the Universal Render Pipeline as a template. This is not essential, but it gives us access to some really cool post-processing effects by default. You could always use an earlier version of Unity and add the post-processing later. Once you have your new project created, we need to do a little housekeeping. First, we need to rename the sample scene to black underscore hole and save it. I always like to create a file structure at the start of a new project to keep everything tidy from the start. It can be edited and extended later, but it's good practice to start as you mean to go on. We're going to need folders for our materials, prefabs, models, and 2D textures. Now, inside your materials folder, right click and select create, and then material. For the shader, select skybox, then procedural from the drop down menu. Next, set the values as follows. Simply drag and drop the material into the scene view to apply it to the game world. Now we need to set up our post processing volume. Right click in the hierarchy and select volume, then global volume. Rename this to post underscore processing underscore volume. Next up we need to create a new profile and call it post underscore processing underscore volume underscore profile. The global volume will apply our post-processing effects to the whole scene and the profile will store our post-processing components and their settings. The last thing that we need to do is to check the post-processing box in the camera rendering settings. Now go to your post-processing volume, click on the add override button at the bottom of the volume settings, select post-processing and then bloom. By enabling the checkboxes next to threshold and intensity, setting them to the following values. Finally, we need to test that our post-processing is working correctly. To do this, we will right-click in the hierarchy and create a new 3D object in the form of a plane, and also a new point light. Position the point light slightly above the plane and adjust the intensity so that you can see the light reflected off the plane. You should now see the post-processing effects applied to the scene. The first thing that we need to do is create an empty game object to hold our effect by right clicking in the hierarchy and selecting create empty. Rename this empty game object to black underscore hole underscore effect. Now we can right click our black hole effect empty and select effects and particle system. Rename this particle system to black underscore hole underscore inner. Next set the values as follows. Before I forget, it's a good idea to reset the transform on your black hole effect empty. Next, we will right click our back hole effect empty, create a new particle system as before. Rename this one to inner underscore accretion underscore disk. Now enter the following values.
can now duplicate the inner accretion disk effect and edit the values as follows. We also want to rename it to outer accretion disk. In order to stop the particles from the inside of the black hole being visible from certain angles, we can add a sprite mask to hide them. Using any art software you like, I'm using Affinity Designer, create a square image of 512 by 512 pixels. Next, fill the background layer with black so that we can use the alpha source from Grayscale in Unity for our transparency. Using the ellipse tool, create a circle that fills the page from the center and select the fill color to be white. Then create a smaller circle within it and select black as the fill color. Then export this picture as a PNG file and import it into your textures folder inside Unity. Select the sprite image in the inspector. Set the texture type to sprite 2D and UI. Set the alpha source to from grayscale. Now click apply at the bottom of the menu. In order to use a sprite mask, we're going to have to go to the Windows tab, hit the Package Manager, select Unity Registry from Packages. In here we should find the Sprite 2D package. There it is, 2D Sprite. We're going to install that and that's going to give us access to 2D sprite masks. Now we can simply right click our black hole effect empty, select 2D object and sprite mask. Here we're going to need to apply our black hole sprite image that we created. Finally we need to correctly orientate our sprite mask and adjust the scale. We want that center circle to perfectly match the inside of our effect. Now in the rendering settings for our black hole inner, we're going to set our render mode back to film ward, leave our material blank, set our max particle size to zero. Then inside our masking options, we're going to select visible outside mask. For this next step, we will need some kind of 3D modeling software to create a simple cone shape. I'm using Blender as it's awesome and free. Create a new project and delete everything in the scene. Now press Shift A to add a new object and select the cone shape. Left click the cone, press Tab to enter edit mode. Now choose face select option using the 3 key. Left click the circular base of the cone, press X and then delete the face. Now go to File, Export and export this as an FBX file. Import this mesh into Unity and we can add it to our effect. Rescale the cone so that the opening fits tightly around the event horizon of the black hole and is directed into the effect, containing the inner effect. Finally, we just need to set up a material that will work well with our inner cone and create the illusion of the inside of a black hole. Right click the materials folder and create a new material. Enter the following values into the inspector. Ensure that the surface inputs for the base map and the specular map are both set to black. Lastly, drag and drop the material onto the object in the hierarchy in order to apply the material to it. As you can see, now as we raise the effect up into the sky, you can no longer see the skybox through the black hole giving the illusion light no longer escapes. If you have any suggestions for effects you might want to see recreated on this channel, please let me know. You may have a favourite game effect or something like that that you want me to have a look at. I'll do my best to recreate it and walk you through it. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks when I release the next devlog for my game Spacetime. Thanks for watching.